Oh, that. About to do an EDF test. Uh, we're doing a lot of these lately. Uh, I've got a 90mm fan. Uh, this is from a Fly Fly Mirage that I bought. Hopefully going to be putting it together. Um, but the standard blade that was in it, 7 blade one. I don't, don't know, not too sure about it. Um, I did try a Haloi uh, 6 blade fan. Um, still weren't that keen on it. Um, we're running the 1850 kV warhead motor. And I still don't not that sure about the performance. Um, so what I've done is got the fly fly uh, out of housing and put the Hayoi six blade fan in it. The fly fly uh, casing, even though it's supposed to be a 92 mil fan, is actually smaller than the Hayoi uh, 89 mil housing. For some strange reason. So I've cut down the blades on this six blade fan to fit the fly fly uh, housing. And what I'm going to do is probably a bit reckless. Uh, like I said, it's 1850kV warhead motor, EDF motor. I'm running it with, we've got Turner G, um, 120 amp high voltage speed controller. Uh, I need the high voltage one because I'm running it on the new Zippy Compact 60C 2700 milliamp four cells linked together in series to be eight cells there we are I've been I did try the uh, DPS uh, fan blade from Hobby King the five blade one in this housing and again still weren't that sure about the performance uh, drawing quite high current <laughs> on the eight cell but um, I thought I'd try this six blade one as you look at the blades seems to be uh, not quite as aggressive pitch on it so uh, see what this is going to do um, oh, scams have just gone off switch them on again there we go, all zeroed um, no idea what this is going to do so let's uh, see what we get Deafening. Um, what we got? Blimey. That's drawing less current than the uh, DPS five blade fan or, or rotor. That's what I kind of suspected with the slightly aggressive less aggressive pitch I'm getting a bit more thrust as well although I did test that with the batteries fully charged with the fire blade one not quite fully charged uh, with this one that's it that's got it balanced running pretty true Got a 74mm exit on the thrust tube. Don't know if I'm going to use this one, it's just something I mocked up quick. I would have thought I'd be getting more thrust than that. I don't know if it's because all this gubbins here and the stick there is affecting the um, the flow of thrust or, or fl airflow rather into the fan I don't know if it's affecting that but I mean I should be getting way more thrust than that I don't know why it's not doing it I mean maybe it's because there isn't an intake lip on it um, I'm not sure why and I'm not getting that much thrust Maybe it is just blocking the air, all this lot in the way. Oh well, that's the uh, warhead motor. I don't know if I'll be able to see it. Uh, get the torch 
chair. That's the warhead motor, 1850 kV, running on eight cells. That's quite a bit more than it's stated to run. <laughs> oh well, that was the EDF test. Um, if you've got any ideas why I'm not getting as much thrust as I should be, leave a comment and uh, I'll get back to you. Cheers then. Bye.